Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff, and today is a very sentimental and emotional day. Now, I get a lot of questions from you guys about how to get started in editing professionally. Where do I start? How do I get my first freelance gig? How do I start making money? Just how do I start? And the simple answer is you just have to start. You have to jump in, even though you may fail miserably, your first 10, 20, 30 times, you just have to start somewhere. Now, I will be the first to admit that I was not good when I first started out. I don't think anybody just jumps into this and they're just instantly amazing. I was terrible, but I kept going and I kept doing it. And each time I did it, I jumped into an edit, I picked up a camera, I did anything. I started to get better and better and better over time. So it just takes time, but more importantly, it takes takes a lot of dedication. You can't get frustrated if something doesn't go your way. You can't just throw your hands up and give up at any point. If you really love this, if you really love editing specifically, I guess for this channel, but anything with media production, video production, you have to just keep going. Whether you're a beginner or you've been doing it for a little while, you just have to keep going. You have to keep your skills sharp. So for those of you that have asked me how I got here today, in this room, on this channel, talking to you about editing all the time, I will share my story of how I got here. So we'll just pull the mic in. We'll get it nice and ready for a voiceover here. How does that sound? That probably sounds real nice. <clears throat> the year? 2003. Twinsburg, Ohio. I was a freshman in high school, and like any other high school student, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I ended up becoming friends with these two guys, Aaron Franck and Vinny Degatano, who were super into making movies, writing, directing, acting, editing, all of it. At the time, technology was still pretty new, and this thing that just came out called YouTube seemed pretty neat, so they started uploading all of our stuff to YouTube under the channel FND Films. Turkey sandwich. Sandwich! Sandwich, sandwich, sandwich! Oh. <laughs> Rob the jewelry store and tell him make me a grill. Then, the incident happened. Some aspiring filmmakers are in hot water at their high school today. The Twinsburg students hijacked yesterday morning's announcements and instead played their own music video. Tuesday morning, students at Twinsburg High School were ready to watch morning announcements, and this is what they saw instead. It's a spoof of Nelly's song Grills and is now notorious at Twinsburg High School and on the Internet. Four of the students in the video are suspended for three days. School administrators say they are good kids who just made a bad decision. <clears throat> Thank you, Kim. For whatever reason, that video blew up. It was on local and national news, and at that point, we knew we had to do something revolving around film. So after high school, we decided to go to Columbia College Chicago into the film program. I majored in television production and post-production with an influence in on-camera talent because I wanted to be a news anchor. From the studios of Columbia College Chicago, this is Newsbeat. We begin with what's affecting all of us, this bitter weather. Hello, I'm Ian Sansevera. Anyways, uh, while I was there, I got a job at a place called Charisma Entertainment, where I worked as a videographer and editor for special events. I was doing weddings, bat mitzvahs, corporate events. I was shooting and editing a lot, and I was learning a lot. I also DJed and MCed on the side too, because why not? So Aaron and Vinny decided to drop out of film school and go at it on their own, still living in Chicago and making awesome sketches while I stayed and got my degree. I graduated, then literally the next day, I packed my car with whatever would fit inside of it, and I drove to LA with my friend Sean, who I also made YouTube videos with. We're almost there! I wanna stay in Nebraska, it's the good life! Home of Arbor Day, there's trees here! Colorful Colorado! It's colorful! Just look at the damn sign! Look at it! I didn't know anyone in LA. I was completely on my own. So the first job I ended up getting was at the Apple Store in Santa Monica. And then through some connections at the Apple Store, I met my best friend, Anthony. We started producing music together. We went on tour. We partied a lot. We had a lot of fun. Studio session with them Lost Boys. Oh! Four snares for us! And then build like... Anthony, the bass! Oh, 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 no, hell no! Jesus just rose again. Little precious had a natural obsession. I mean, screw 
Skrillex even started playing our remixes at his shows. Things were going great. It was fun. I was in my early 20s. I was just having a good time. But the music industry wasn't really for me. I still wanted to produce video content. So I started scouring Craigslist and I ended up getting a job with a company called Shoot Media who made videos with a bunch of different UFC fighters. I was filming and editing videos with a bunch of MMA superstars and then those videos caught the attention of someone at Quest Nutrition, which at the time was a fairly small company that made protein bars. So then they brought me on to produce marketing videos for the Quest Bar and then that company blew up, going from making a couple hundred thousand a year to a couple hundred million. It was literally insane. We were working a lot with different fitness YouTubers at Quest, and one of them, John Glaude, his channel is Obese to Beast, was asking me a lot of questions about how to edit YouTube videos, and he was the one who told me to make a YouTube channel, and thus, Learn How to Edit Stuff was born. Basically on my channel, I'm going to be giving you guys tips, tricks, and tutorials about how to edit and shoot better videos, because frankly, I'm sick of the crap that's out there on the internet today. So I've been at Quest for about three years at this point, and then they sponsored an esports team called Team Liquid. I had no idea what esports was, literally had never heard of it, but I got to edit some videos for Team Liquid while I was at Quest, and then I kind of fell in love with esports. Team Liquid loved the videos I was doing, so then they poached me from Quest to be the director of post-production at 1UP Studios, which is Team Liquid's internal production company. After a few years of being director of post-production, I got promoted to director of 1UP Studios, where I now manage a team of insanely talented creatives and help produce all of Team Liquid's global content. It's really an amazing job. And that's how we got here. Oh God, oh God, hold on. And that's how we got here to this video today, talking to you guys right now. And I do apologize that I don't upload once a week. I would really love to upload once a week. I would love to just teach you guys everything I know inside of my head that I've been learning over the last 10, 12, 13 years. I don't know how long it's been. So I apologize for not being able to upload as much as I would have liked. So thank you for understanding that I can't upload every week. Thank you for continuing to be a subscriber of this channel. Thank you for all the amazing comments that you leave, the messages that you send me, the emails that I get, the tweets, the Instagram messages, all of it. Thank you so much. When I first did this channel, I literally never thought that it would get to this point. I was like, hey, if I hit 10,000 subscribers, that would be insane. I am over 100,000 subscribers. I got a YouTube plaque sitting on the wall. It's truly unbelievable. And I have you guys to thank for it. So thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for learning from all of the mistakes that I made in my past and making it part of your future. <laughs> oh. That being said, I'm gonna grab this camera, take you guys to our office in Santa Monica, the Alienware training facility where I spend most of my days creating amazing Team Liquid content. If you guys are fans of Team Liquid, you've seen my stuff. If you don't know what Team Liquid is, maybe you'll go watch it now that you know that I'm associated with it. But either way, we're leaving the studio, we're going to the other studio, let's go. Oh, all right, we're here. It's much brighter than in the studio. Welcome to the Alienware training facility. First things first, this cool little button here that gets us in. Sick. All right, guys, this is the Los Angeles home of Team Liquid and 1UP Studios. As you can see by the decorations behind me, it is spooky season and our office is decorated accordingly. So first things first, right when you walk in, we have the front desk where you check in, you kind of sit in this little loungy area right behind me and you wait for whoever you're here to meet. And then right to the left when you walk in, we have the main conference room. This is kind of where all of our meetings are held and all the important stuff gets talked about right here in this room. And then right here, we have three individual, like one-on-one -on -one type meeting rooms. They're all kind of branded with different games. This is where you can go in there, pop in, have a phone call if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with somebody or whatever. And then right back here is the Nexus. We actually are moving a lot of stuff around. There's a lot of desks kind of where they didn't used to be before. We can see our four back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back LCS trophies sitting right here in the window. Nevertheless, we are here to where we wanna be, which is one of studios. This is where all the magic happens, folks. This is where I come and sit every day with my lovely team right here in 1UP Studios. If I turn around, back behind me here, we have editing bays one and two, and these are fully specced out editing bays. We have Alienware Area 51 computer towers in there. Really, really pretty. Gigantic monitor for reference up on the back wall. Uh, I'm walking into Connor's editing bay right now, and he has kind of the vertical monitor set up over here. And for those of you that don't use a vertical monitor, what are you even doing? Because if you open up your big and stuff here let's actually do it all right so i'm pulling a card full of footage onto this vertical monitor here and i'm going to expand it all the way down and look at how nice that is you can just kind of tile it out and see everything you can zoom in here so you can make your thumbnails bigger you can run your mouse over it to kind of preview all of the different various clips on the vertical monitor if you're not using a vertical monitor 
Every computer here at 1UP Studios is connected to a server that is in the office. It is 175 terabytes worth of storage space. So all of us in here are editing off the server all day, every day, and it kicks major ass. This is my desk right here. Look at it in all its glory. I'll wiggle the mouse. Look at that. Wow, fantastic. You can see I have the Bob's Burgers Funko Pop action figures right down here. Uh, finally, you guys get to see where I'm at every day and why sometimes I don't upload videos because esports is crazy. Let's keep moving on. This is Michael Archeris, the manager of the League of Legends team. Say hi, Michael. Goodbye, Michael. Wall of Fame. Ah, I'm up there a couple times. This is the cafeteria that we are in now. We have an executive chef, his name is Manny. He cooks us two meals a day, lunch and dinner, every single day that we're in the office. Even the cafeteria is spookified with all these ghosts and pumpkins and everything. It's just lovely. And the newest addition to the kitchen is this crazy little coffee machine that I can't use right now because the automatic cleaning is in progress for another four minutes and 27 seconds, so. Uh and we are gonna head right out the front door. Oh my dear God. We are gonna walk directly across the parking lot. Hey, look, it's my new car. Whew. Okay, uh, this is our production space, our production facility. This is where we do all of our product photography, e-commerce, merch stuff, interviews, all sorts of things that we need a big wide open space for that we can't really do in the main office. This is where it all happens. We have our gear stored right over here on all these shelves. Look at all these pretty lenses and cameras. It's a little messy right now. We just got back from Berlin. We are producing the Liquid Update. Again, if you're not a fan of Team Liquid, go check out our content. If you are, that's what we're doing. So it's kind of just everywhere, but we come in here, we build out sets, we have lights on stands, we got all these strobes for photography, we got a CRT here with a bunch of hard drives next to it. We just do whatever comes to our mind here at 1UP Studios. We got a projector right up here on the ceiling that projects an image onto the back wall. These walls, black and white, are movable, so we can move the white wall in, move the black wall in, and vice versa. We can pull both of them to the side to reveal the exposed brick in the background. It's a very versatile space, and we kind of have a little creative meeting space over here, but Again, it's really messy, so I apologize. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Team Liquid and 1UP Studios. I'm glad that I could finally take you guys on a little tour, show you guys where I've been, what I've been doing. Am I covering the microphone? I don't even know. I might be covering the microphone. But either way, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and seeing where I work every day and not meeting the people that I work with, but if you did meet them, they'd be excited that you did. We're gonna head back to the studio because it's air conditioned in there, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the story about how I kind of got into editing professionally and just know that it just takes time and it just takes dedication. You can't ever quit. Just keep learning as much as you possibly can. Watch my videos, watch other people's videos, experiment for yourself. Just keep learning and developing your own style and eventually you will get there. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly until I go to the next place here on Learn How to Edit Stuff. So subscribe, check out the last video, and I will see you next time.